Hi guys, tonight we're making stuffed chicken parmesan. It's time to Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is cut a slit down the side of these to kind of open them up and make a pocket. Um, I had on my grocery list chicken breasts, but apparently they were out. And so they sent me these small little chicken tenders. So or chicken breast tenders or whatever. But they should work and actually may work even better for this dish um, just to help me not eat as much portion control. So let's get some of this nasty stuff off and then I'll get to cutting. So now the next thing I'm going to do is season the chicken. Alright, so now I need some cheese, so I'm going to shred some. I've, I've purchased this block cheese, and I purchased a lot of it, um, because I read that it melts easier. Um, because of whatever preservatives or whatever is in pre-shredded cheese, it's meant to help it not melt in transfer and all. I don't know. Anyway, so I purchased a lot of block cheese, but um, I'm ready for my pre-shredded again <laughs> so I can save this step. So let's shred some cheese. All right, so now the next step is to stuff each of the little chickens with um, cheese. Oh, this didn't work out. I only put on one glove thinking I would only touch it with one hand, but I'm touching it with two. It's okay. Just wash my hands again. Alright, so I have prepared the dredging station where I have my flour, my eggs, and my breadcrumbs. And so I'm carefully going to dip each one in all three, starting with the flour, then putting this in the egg, and then moving this to the breadcrumbs. And then I'm going to sit this on a plate until I'm ready to put it in the fryer and repeat with the other three. All right, now it's time for frying. So I'm gonna take this and carefully place it in the oil. I think I can get all four of them in. Hopefully this doesn't crowd it too bad. I'm gonna let these cook until golden brown. So I must have been sleepy when I was making this order because I need like three cups of tomato sauce and I have seven ounces so we're gonna make this work. This is a chicken fresh out of the grease and I have some tomato sauce down here and now I'm going to put the chicken on top of the tomato sauce. Now I'm going to take the rest of my tomato sauce and pour on top of this. step before putting this in the oven is to grate some more cheese. I'm also going to sprinkle some Parmesan on top of this.
Can y'all tell I like cheese? This is going in the oven for 20 minutes. Now that's in the oven. I'm going to make some pasta, just some regular spaghetti noodles so that I can eat the chicken parmesan on top of my noodles. Right. This is the chicken fresh out of the oven. Time to assemble. All right, it is time to eat. I want to cut down the middle so I can see the cheese on the inside. Can't really see it. Just chicken. Oh well. I'm sure it's gonna be good anyway. And I put extra cheese on the outside so that should make up for any cheese that might have fallen out while I was um while it was frying, so let's eat this and see how it tastes. delicious I still don't see the cheese most of it must have fallen out anyway it's still good so I'm gonna finish eating this and I'll see you guys in the next video